off camera I did my brows and I primed my lids. Then I went in with the Morphe 35W palette in kind of a warm brown color as my transition shade and a MAC 224 brush. Next I used the Jaclyn Hills Favorite palette by Morphe and a MAC 217 brush to go ahead and deepen the crease with more of a mauve brown color. And for the lid, I took this gorgeous purple color and a MAC 242 brush and packed this all along my lid. Then back to the 35W palette, I took this purple sparkly color and packed this on the outer third of my lid. And then for more gradient effect, I took a deeper dark purple sparkly of course and pack this and I did have to switch brushes just to make sure everything was blended out and then deepened and then blended then deepened. It's all about the blended out effect. And then back to the Jaclyn Hills favorite palette and this bright pink shade I went ahead and put this in the inner corner. And then of course we can't forget the brow bone highlight. <laughs> and I did apply the Ardell Red, no, not Ardell, the Red Cherry number 43 lashes. So I'm sorry, I forgot to show that before I did it, but I went in and blended and deepened a little bit more that same um, dark purple. And then of course we gotta add that foundation because girl or boy, that face, ugh just broke out like crazy sorry but yeah let's just cover that all up <laughs> and to cover my dark circles going in with the NARS in the color custard I love this concealer it is definitely the perfect color for underneath the eyes and then I did bake and I used the Ben Nye banana luxury powder and a beauty blender just pack that on and then I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up with this gorgeous bronzer by Physicians Formula and it's just in a color bronze and it smells so good. Oh, I'm smelling it again. It just reminds me of the beach. I love it. And the brush I used was a Morphe M523. And then to bake underneath the bronzer, I used my NARS Eda brush and the same Ben Nye banana powder. And I wanted the baking to, you know, bake a little longer so I just bronzed up the rest of my face. And after about five minutes, I went ahead and wiped away all the loose powder with a Sigma Tapered Highlight F35 brush. And it just gives you just such a gorgeous, matte, flawless, HD finish. I love it. And then another new product I am in love with and so affordable is Wet n Wild's Rose Champagne. Such a gorgeous everyday blush. Absolutely love this. And then for my highlight, again, Wet n Wild, on a Wet n Wild kick for some reason. <laughs> and this is called a bronzer, but it is definitely not a bronzer, it is a highlight. And it is gorgeous. Then that bright purple shade, I went ahead and applied that to my lower lash line with a Sigma pencil brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and deepen the outer corner with the darker purple as well. And then to make sure the inner corner is nice and bright and kind of carry it to the bottom lash line, I just added that bright pink again. And then I went ahead and applied some black liner to my waterline. For lips, I used MAC Subculture to line my lips. And then I went in with MAC Lipstick and Cream Cup. And for a beautiful gloss, I took the Kylie 
so cute lip gloss. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this purple eye. Definitely for my brown eyed girls, purple is like our go-to to make our eyes pop. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.